Uh, we got Nat on the phone. We got Nat on the phone, fellas. Hey, Nat, congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. What are your thoughts, what your thoughts about coming to the Giants? Did you have much interaction with them throughout the process? Um, well, I, uh, not really, you know. Um, I got a phone call from him, I'd say, a week, a week ago. And, uh, you know, just asking for my phone number. Um, just trying to make sure that this was the right, you know, phone number to reach me on draft day. Um, you know, I, I knew they needed safeties, uh, but that's about it. What would you say your your greatest quality is to to come in here and and have a chance to contribute? Um, just my instincts. Um, you know, I have, I have great eyes. Um, you know, if you watch my film, you know, I'm able to dissect plays and and uh, and it's just you know getting to the ball. Um, you know, I led the team in tackles, you know, two years in a row. So you know, getting to the ball and and being very disruptive uh, on the defensive side of the ball is something I do really well. Nat, are you more of a strong safety or free safety? Can you do both? Oh, um, I can play both. Um, at San Diego State, I played the asset position. Uh, he played linebacker, uh, blitz off the edge, played free safety. Um, you know, he kind of he kind of did it all. Um, so I'm I'm very comfortable playing you know either role. What's the Aztec position? Uh, give us a little uh, background on that and and what how it differs from maybe a, a natural safety or, or or a natural linebacker. Well, the uh, Aztec position was played by uh, well they used to call it the Lobo. It was played by Brian Erlacher back at uh, New Mexico, uh, and so his coaching staff came over to San Diego State and we implemented it there and they called it the Aztec. So basically, it's a uh, it's like a hybrid. Uh, linebackers slash safety. Um, you know, you can use them in different ways. You can blitz them off the edge. Um, you can bring them down the box as an extra linebacker. Um, he can play deep half safety. Um, he can line up in the slot, um, play play guys man to man. Um, he can kind of do it all. You know, he makes a lot of the adjustments on defense as well. Uh, so yes, he's a smart guy. Yeah. What do you? I mean, what have teams told you about you, where you? You know, how you kind of transition to the, the pro level and about position wise and uh, you know do they view you as a, a free safety a strong safety or what, what have teams told you about that kind of fit um, I've heard I've heard multiple things I've heard you know strong safety um, I've heard nickel um, I've heard free safety so I've kind of I've heard it honestly Nat, your bio said that you didn't have a lot of uh, experience on special teams. Was that by design? Is that something that just you know you wanted to do, or you know, what's your feeling on that? Um, I think it was by design. Um, you know, I've, you know, at my uh, at my school, you know, I've played a lot of special teams uh, my freshman and sophomore year, and uh, my junior and senior year, not so much. Uh, I think just you know how the coaches wanted it to be done. Um, I know I played, you know, almost every snap uh both years uh so you know it just was kind of a it was kind of a thing that just kind of happened what were your expectations here in the draft when what were you hearing about and what were you being told about where you were thought to be going or, or around in the range um yeah i heard you know you hear multiple things uh from different teams um i know i heard from the Steelers that you know, they said if I was available in the third, they'd give me in the third or the fourth. Um, I heard fourth or fifth. Um, so kind of, you know, kind of in the same area. Um, but I mostly heard fourth or fifth pick, kind of, kind of a round. Now I saw I saw some of your tweets right after you got picked. It seems like you have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. Do you do you play like that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you look at my film, um, I try to be the the biggest, the baddest dude out there every time. Uh, it's just the way I play. Um, just the way I was taught to play, um, I, I just I just play with with a lot of emotion, with a lot of anger, um, and I, I try to take people's heads off. That's, that's what I do, and, and I think that's how the safety position is supposed to be played. Now, do you uh, obviously you're not the biggest guy in the world? Do you overcompensate your lack of size uh, by aggressiveness and, and intensity? Um, I mean. When you talk about his size, I mean, what do you, what do you exactly do you, are you talking about? Because if you look, if you look at some of the guys 
Because if you look at some of the guys out there, I mean, like Earl Thomas, you know, he's 5'10". Um, you know, Devin McCourtney, he's 5'11". You know, you look, at, you look at some of the stages that are actually starting in the NFL, you know, they're 5'10", 5'11". And they've actually put on weight. But I'm now, you know, weighing about 200, 201. Is that where you'd like to play at, or you, you uh, want to put even more weight on than that? Um, you know, during the season, I played at uh, 202. Um, so, I mean, it, it just it just varies on what the coaching staff wants me to do, um, you know. Were you a uh, random question? Were you a team captain at San Diego State? Yes, sir. What does that uh, what, what does that mean? You think what uh, What does that show teams that when you're a, a team captain? Uh, I mean, it just shows them that you know you're a leader. Um, you're a guy willing to stay after and get you know get extra reps in, whether it be um, in the film room, whether it be in the weight room. I mean, whatever it is, um, and, you're, and you're willing, you know, to be a great leader, what I find out a lot is uh, you have to be willing to serve. Um, you know, like I did stuff like, you know, setting up team barbecues and, and paying with my own money, stuff like that. You know, you just got to gotta be willing to get it, get the guys together and, and willing to do it and, and willing to give your time. When you pay for barbecues here, they call it hazing. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was it was it was you know guys pitch in you know you, you, you pay for barbecues it's, it's nothing like nothing like that. Now you already have your travel plans uh, when you're planning on heading here. Uh yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure uh, everything correct. Uh, they said they're gonna find me out I think tomorrow, and uh, I get there and then Monday uh, work start working out with the team, um, uh, and I'll and I'll double check that and make sure. Thanks, Nat. Thanks a lot. No Thanks a lot. See you later, Nat. No problem. Thank you, guys.